Gabriel Castro is a practicing immigration attorney based in Los Angeles. He's also worked for the U.S. Department of Justice as an attorney advisor to the Los Angeles Immigration Court. Gabrielle, welcome to our show. Um, first of all, I'd like to take your general assessment of this operation. How effective do you think that's going to be to resolve the issues that, is, that it meant to resolve? Well, first of all, what we're, we're seeing uh, on uh, today with the sweeping raids is that they actually haven't been going forward in the way that we originally thought. Uh, we've heard reports uh, here and there of some ICE activity and arrest on the East Coast, but for the most part, it's not to the scale. It's not the 2,000 families that we were initially concerned over. Uh, the New York Times is reporting that uh, it, the sweeps are actually going to be delayed throughout the week and are, instead of one large sweep are going to be happening over time. So let's say if a raid or raids do happen, what are the rights of the immigrants? What should they do and what, they sh what should they not do? Uh, the very first thing is they should not open their door for, uh, for ICE officers. They're, they're, um, unless the officer has a judicial warrant, and that is a warrant signed by a U.S. federal judge, they should not open, open the door for them. Uh, in addition, they should, should be prepared to not answer questions and remain silent. Anything that I says, they, they can use against them, and they should wait to, to have an attorney present before they ask any questions. If apprehended, they should make sure to not sign any documentation that ICE gives them, and to make sure that they, they themselves or a family member that, that is not apprehended is uh, contacts an attorney immediately. And you know, supporters of this raid say that uh, the officers will only target the families uh, that they have gone through due process uh, in obtaining. A, a final deportation order um, to rate to rate them. Uh, what do you think? Uh, unfortunately, that's not true for many of these cases. Right now, they are target, targeting many individuals who have an order of deportation based off of not appearing for an immigration court hearing. Many of these cases are eligible to be opened via motions to reopen by showing that they, they, the cases were actually weren't giving the proper notice to be able to attend their hearing, and they were never given their day in court. They weren't giving that due process, and so. Uh, Unfortunately, when when they're when they're when they're using that terminology, that's it's just not based in the fact of the matter. Well, we heard about the critics of this um, operation saying that this is an electoral effort by President Trump. We also know that there could be political fallout. For example, uh, the Republicans are now seeking the Democratic help in the Congress for a four billion dollar package to deal with the border crisis. Why would Donald Trump do this and do this now? Uh, unfortunately, it's been seen that he will use immigrant families, and families in particular, as a political tool. And the threat of the deportation of those families uh, as, as a pawn in, in immigration negotiations. And so he, he usually will tie this kind of uh, over-the-top uh, over measures in, in connection of trying to get more funding for his border wall or for other procedures for uh, or funding for, for other of his policies. Gabriel Castro, immigration lawyer in Los Angeles, thank you so much for your perspectives. And thank you.